そくりょくで未来も今も駆け抜けろ。僕は気づいたんだ。ずっと宿題忘れた。それは一つの謎謎謎。僕は誰なんだろう。スライディングしてすり抜けてひざ痛くたってね。すぐ立ち上がらなきゃチャンスは逃げてゆく。わかってるさ。それじゃ答えたの誰より遠くへ飛んでみせるよ。すべてのハスを貫いて。At this time, the defendant's origins are unknown. That information was lost in the chaos of war, perhaps deliberately, I might add. It could be said that the circumstances surrounding the defendant actually qualify him as a victim of the life recycling law. Therefore, is it right for him to be the first victim of a capital punishment system that had been abandoned for thousands of years? It's true that the defendant must pay for his crimes. But with all the progress we've made in science and the study of the human psyche, surely there must be alternative means by which he can repay society. Please, I ask you to make a merciful and wise decision. This court hereby sentences the defendant, Andrew Cherenkov, to undergo level seven personality reconditioning. With this ruling. The current you will cease to exist, but it also marks the birth of a brand new world for you. Let us celebrate, shall we? What is the meaning of this? Why can't we have a child of our own? Oh, stop it! What could you want to leave behind? Don't tell me you want that abnormal DNA of yours to live on. Nanotechnology is hardly perfect, you know. It still can't correct mutations in genomes. Are you saying this is my fault? <laughs> You're pathetic. A bit of nucleic acid desperately clinging to life. You haven't changed one bit since then. But of course. That's what makes you you. But then, why did you marry me? For this. Do you know how hard I worked for this permit? That's why I volunteered to care for you. What? Did you think there was love between us? Please, don't kid yourself. I can get all the love I need with this. <coughs> Don't forget to take your meds. After all, I'm the one who'll be held responsible if you don't. With Federation law, the defendant will now undergo Level Eight personality reconditioning. With this, Defendant One Two Five Eight Four's human rights shall be revoked, and henceforth the defendant shall be treated as a life form belonging to the Federation. According to current law, this treatment grants the bearer the same rights and privileges as those of a realian.
must admit, I've never seen such a stubborn neural network. He's even rejected the level 8 procedure. In any case, he's still quite valuable to us. We can use him as a test subject for the level 9 procedure. So you're the man who murdered every worker in this facility and annihilated three squads of Federation Special Forces. I was looking forward to meeting you. But you... you look like a poor little stray. Is this really your handiwork? A life recycling variant. No wonder the Federation police couldn't handle you. I'll commend you for that. However... <laughs> Reality is cruel, is it not? Commander Margulis, the 308th Volgata Division is... I know. We're taking him with us. Sir! You're not serious. Yes, this one may be useful. But... All you ever wanted in life was to leave behind a legacy. Isn't that right? Now show me the proof of your existence. To me alone. It looks like we've arrived at the center. What is that? A building? Hmm. Or maybe some sort of device? What do you mean? I don't know. It's just... Yes? Well... If this is really the center, it's possible that it may be of some importance to the Gnosis. But this, of course, is from our frame of reference, so we could be completely mistaken. In other words, if that is a man-made object, it could be a ship or some other wreckage that was swallowed just as we were. What about us? Are we going to end up like that too? We'll be sure to get out of here before that happens. Cosmos, what's the Elsa's current position? Location unknown. I have lost its signal. Lost? The Gnosis magnetic and gravitational fields have become unstable near the center. The last known coordinates point to a location on the lower level, 300 meters below our present position. That's pretty close. Shall we go? Yes. Let's just hope the Elsa isn't in the same condition as the wreckage around here. to test your loyalty to the organization. Nothing more. The citizens will be affected, whether you succeed or not. Do you regret your decision? No. They're of no consequence to me, nor to our organization, or anyone else. <laughs> well said, Cherenkov.
Geon. Look at that. The Zohar? We must go. Hey, Cosmos, wait! Don't you go off on your own. Oh, I don't recall programming her that way. But what's the Zohar doing here? I have confirmed that this object can be identified with a 99.99998% probability to be the Zohar emulator that was stored on board the Woglinde. An emulator? Are you saying a real one exists somewhere else? Affirmative. Affirmative? Cosmos, how do you know all of this? I never stored any type of information like that in your main databank. You... You're the creator of that thing. And yet, you didn't even know about that? Ivana Cherenkov! Are you all right? Let's get out of here. Commander, your body's... Escape? What are you talking about? You think you'll survive through something like this? That's right. I... I was the one behind the disappearance of the planet Ariadne. All that mattered was the recovery of the emulator. That was the reason behind the deployment of Vector and the military. They were really only pawns. But in spite of all that... spreads before your eyes. This light once symbolized civilization, the very will of the human race. But what can be gleaned from the light we see today? The people of this world have cast away their will to create, drowning themselves instead in an endless cycle of consumption. 
What you see now is the deceitful light cast by their stagnant eyes. The commander. But who's that with him? The people you've encountered in your lifetime are not people at all. They are less than human, mere sacks of flesh and bone. Only upon the realization of self-will can a person truly be called a man. You chose to reject the false light, refused to succumb to their lies. That's why you never faltered, even after all the personality reconditioning. The commander underwent personality reconditioning? Long ago, man was forced to leave behind his homeland. This was brought about by the masses who extinguished the very light that drove their will. So how about it, Cherenko? Let us rekindle the torch so that human consciousness may once again be resurrected for our sake and that of our God. It must have been the Commander's feelings. Commander... What was it that you were searching for? I never really existed at all. I... 36 years ago, the year after the Zoar incident, which led up to the Milshin conflict, I was brought into this world as a weapon of warfare. It happened all the time back then. Killing was my... No, our whole reason for existence. The fortunate ones were those who could adapt to that way of life. Even luckier were those who died on the battlefield. But I was never granted that opportunity. Before I could find some significance to my own life, the war ended. And I was left behind while the world went on. I tried to adapt. But the language I spoke was so different from the rest of the world. I thought the entire world had rejected me. But the commander, it felt like he really needed me. I saw a future for myself in the commander. Or I wanted to, at least. But I had to rely on the drugs to communicate with the rest of the world. It was because I hadn't changed. After everything that happened, I hadn't changed at all. Now I finally understand. The world didn't reject me. I rejected the world. Xion. I like it here. I'm the only living thing that exists in this place. There's nothing else. No anger, no sadness, no happiness, not even a future. The only thing that's here is me. And that'll eventually fade away. It feels good. This is exactly what I've been searching for all of this time. Xion. You'll eventually find yourself here, too. I'm sure of it. It won't be much longer. I know. I can tell.
just happened? Where is he? What have we done? Tell me. It's nothing you need to worry about. I'm sorry. Was that really the commander? Tell me, Chaos. Surely we didn't. Shia, the truth isn't always a pleasant thing to know. We're still here, and none of us have turned into Gnosis. Perhaps we can take solace in that. Here, stand up. Okay. Huh. The connection between the phenomenon boundaries is dissipating. If this continues, this spatial location will disappear. We are in danger. This isn't good.
who are feeling pain make me complete. phenomena appearing in the variant. In Mama? Where's it coming from? Scanning transfection course. Course trapped. It's coming from the quarantine hangar. Quarantine hangar? It can't be Zohars. It is. External sources are sending requests to the Zohars. Paradigm contamination is spreading. If this keeps up, the mother frame will be taken over. Cut off the main line to the quarantine hangar. Stabilize the attract inhibitor through a secondary line. Main line purged. All signals blocked. wasn't so bad. Chief? Did... Did that really just happen? Yeah. It appeared as if she absorbed the Gnosis. How could she have weaponry we don't even know about? No. That wasn't a weapon. That was... Something impossible. Who cares if it's possible or not? She got rid of the Gnosis, right? Uh, Captain. Little Master's been buzzing us for a while. Huh? Oh, fetch him in. Who's this Little Master? Uh, thanks for helping Hello. us out, Little Master. Sorry about all the... This isn't the cosmos that I built. Kevin. Is this your hand at work? Is this the real cosmos that you wish to create? Commander. What is it? Commander Cherenkov's SMS tracking signal has disappeared. And the UMN? Huh. I was able to track him while he traveled through hyperspace, but I lost him at point two one zero zero seven eight three. There are traces of a space-time anomaly at that same point, so we believe the Gnosis may have been there. I see. So, you got it? Roger, little master. Thanks for helping us out. 
You guys better fill me in on the situation later. Man, what the heck is going on here? And Mama's gone and caught a bug, so we can't perform any investigations or analyses for a while. That's terrible. Tell me about it. Hey, is that Little Master? He's our boss. The head honcho. Hey, Little Master! We picked up a couple of passengers headed for Milsha while we were working. What should we do with them? They look like they're in pretty deep with something. Well, your first concern should be to repair the Elsa. Why don't you get it fixed over at the Foundation? You won't make it very far in that kind of shape. Foundation? You mean the Kukai Foundation? From the Galactic Finance 500's top 10 fastest growing corporations list? Then you must be... Ah, the business stuff was meant to be a side thing. We got lucky, that's all. This is bad, Chief. We can't associate with these people. Hey, hey. I heard that, man. Would you rather we left you here in space? Uh, no. Sorry, sir. Look, little master, what do you say we just leave this boss behind? He spends all his time moaning and groaning. Hey, come on, Captain. Chaos, help me out here. Well, it's not really up to me, you know. I better leave this one to you two. Then I'm definitely giving him the boot. Come on! <laughs> hey, man, don't freak out. We're just playing. What's wrong? Something worrying you? Huh? Oh, no. It's nothing. I'm Shion Uzuki. Nice to... Um, meet you. Junior. Gaina Junior. I got a real name. But let's just leave it at that for now. Good to meet you. Shelly, change of plans. We're returning to the Foundation. Make sure to tell Gaina that we've secured the final emulator. Roger. Preparing to return to the Foundation. What is 
is this place? The environmental controls here seem extremely strict. They're so big. Six to each side, with one directly across. Thirteen in all. Looks like each block has a name inscribed on it. You've got great eyesight. Hmm, let's see. Peter, Andrew, Boanerges, Thomas, John, um... Philip, Matthew, Bartholomew, James, Thaddeus, Simon, Judas. And the last one? It appears to say Marian Kind. Marian Kind? I think I've heard that somewhere. It means the child of Mary. This is where we store all the really dangerous items. Stuff like this. Zars! Actually, they're all emulators. And they've all been sealed, including the one we just retrieved. Why are these Zohars here? Well, our corporation does dabble a little in everything. Besides, these days, you can't get by without having something to deal with the Gnosis. And we definitely can't wait around for the Federation to get off its lazy butt. What's in the room across from here? Nothing pleasant, I'll tell you that much. You're not going to show us? Trust me. It ain't something you'd want to see. Even if we were to consider the diversity of your businesses, you're still a foundation, right? I mean, the weaponry on this ship far outclassed those on any warship. Who are you people, anyway? We were more or less a government organization previously. Well, I guess if you want to see it that badly... You, you weren't gonna like it, didn't I? All of these specimens appear to be humans whose bodies turned into Gnosis. Transformed bodies. I've only heard of them before. Most people just turn white and shatter to pieces. But there are a few exceptions, and they end up like this. We've named this one Betty for now. It's hard to look straight at them, but I don't want to refer to them by some code name or number. It's just not right to treat the dead like mere objects. Is that a lady? She was a little girl. The last time we saw her. People turning into Gnosis? Have you learned anything about them? Not much. Plenty of Gnosis remains have been recovered to date. But nobody's learned a thing from them. You know what they're composed of? No. Sodium chloride. Plain old salt. Even their translucent bodies. They're mostly made up of water and sodium hydroxide. How can ordinary compounds like that form creatures like them? No one really knows why those who survive Gnosis encounters always turn into one of them. Some people think they're a new type of virus. Others say they're beings from another dimension who take on temporary forms in this one. Always? No exceptions? Nope. Not as far as I know. So they could be from another dimension? Wouldn't that mean that their true forms might exist somewhere else? Who knows? All that's certain is that they're hostile to humans. Not that such a sentiment is unique to them. Chief, is something wrong? You don't look so good. Huh? No, don't worry. It's nothing. So... So when did this all begin? Unofficially, 
Phenomena like this have been occurring periodically for the past few centuries. But, after a certain incident, the Gnosis leapt into the forefront of history. A certain incident? The Milshin Conflict. Hmm? Joachim Mizrahi. It was he who opened Pandora's box and unleashed the Gnosis upon the galaxy. And we're all paying for his ambition. Joachim Mizrahi. The brilliant scientist who founded the UTIC organization. Brilliant? He was a lunatic. Unable to bear his curiosity, he invited the Gnosis into our world. Lunatic? The Foundation was established after the war by the newly formed Second Milchian Government to clean up and investigate the facts behind the incident. Technically, that's our real job. Problem is, the funding's tight in peacetime. On top of that, running the Foundation takes a staggering amount of money, and the management of these Zohars ain't cheap either. So. We ended up privatizing part of our operations and became a foundation. We never imagined that some of our side businesses would hit it so big, though. Daddy... Daddy wasn't like that. Mizrahi the lunatic? Was Daddy really like that? Since Daddy built us, does that mean realians are bad people too? Momo, we were looking all over for you. Hello, Xion. What's wrong? You look kind of down. Xion, I... I was created by Joachim Mizrahi. He designed the 100 series Realians back when the Federation funded him. I know. Xi'an, I... Daddy wasn't a lunatic. I don't even know what I am. Identity Diffusion. The Eternal Dilemma. about the environmental bugs on board this ship? They're actually nanomachines, you know. Used to keep enclosed spaces like this clean. I'd say that of all the things Professor Mizrahi or anyone else created, they rank up there pretty high. These bugs may be man-made, but they function as if they've existed all along. Almost as if they were meant to be. I think realians are the same. The only difference between us is the length of our histories. But regardless of our origins, each one of us has an important role to fulfill in this world. Besides, I really doubt Dr. Mizrahi was a dangerous person like everyone makes him out to be. And it's not just because of the environmental bugs. The work he did on realians was incredibly insightful. The fundamental Gnosis research Professor Misrahi left behind played a critical role in the development of modern anti-Gnosis technology. Thanks for the backup, Cosmos. I'm really glad to see you react like that. Empathizing with the feelings of others is a major factor in human relationships. Although I do not believe that the current situation called for me to act in an empathetic manner, I am pleased to be of service to you. <laughs> I think Cosmos is really funny. Too bad she doesn't take instruction very well. I never got to meet Daddy. But he used to talk to me all the time before I was born. It's all a little hazy, but I remember him telling me that I could become a real person if I did good deeds. Really? That's a wonderful memory to have. Uh-huh. Chief! Great news! After this ship arrives at the Kukai Foundation, they're going to take us to Second Milsha. Second Milsha? Really? Apparently, they have some work to take care of out there. 
The captain's still whining about repairing the Elsa, but... Some work? I wonder... Huh? Well, I'm sure they've got their own reasons. But don't you think it's a little strange that everyone's heading for Milsha? Not really. It's probably just a coincidence. I'm just glad we saved some money. Not to mention that this ship's a million times better equipped than the Elsa. And we'll have nothing to worry about if we run into the Gnosis again. Hey, speaking of which, did you check out your room? They all have jacuzzis and mini bars and... Hey, what's wrong, Chief? <sighs> nothing, nothing. I'm just jealous of how easily swayed you are. Feeling 